What is peace? Our world is becoming one global village and at the same time all of us are experiencing vast changes in our daily lives. How do we define peace and how do we go about obtaining it? As we search together for answers to this essential question, we may come closer to achieving a better life for all humanity. These statistics show how many people around the world live in desperate situations. Although many enjoy a better life than ever before, we still live in fear of the future. This is the meaning of peace, emphasized by the founders of the Sun Hawk Peace Prize. That the essence of peace lies in knowing that we are all one global family which must come together in harmony. The Sanhok Peace Prize promotes sustainable human development, conflict resolution, and ecological conservation as its core peace mission. Everyone wants to live a fulfilling and happy life. To achieve happiness, the dignity and the rights of each human being must be respected. Reverend Sung Myung Moon and his wife, Dr. Hot Chahan Moon, comforted mothers in Africa who were without resources to feed their starving children. They built schools and watched as hope blossomed on the faces of children. We must ensure the dignity of those who dream of a better life. The history of mankind has been marked by countless wars. Too many innocent lives have fallen victim to war. Human beings must solve the roots of conflict before we can create a world of peace. They met with President Mikhail Gorbachev of the Soviet Union as part of their efforts to bring about the reconciliation of communism and democracy. They also met with President Kim Il-sung North Korea to propose a path to peace on the Korean Peninsula. And they also led a movement to promote dialogue and cooperation among religions and people of all faiths. Human beings have overcome the limits of nature, challenged the impossible, and have created tremendous wealth. However, modern industrial civilization coupled with human selfishness, has had a devastating impact on the environment, and currently our planet is facing the threat of climate change. Fortunately, many are aware of the crisis and are raising awareness about the seriousness of the climate crisis. Today, as the survival of mankind itself is being threatened, we must seek for a way to live in harmony with the natural world. The inaugural Sunhawk Peace Prize focused on climate change and the food crisis and selected His Excellency Anote Tong, the former president of Kiribati, for his struggles to address the climate crisis and Dr. Motodugu Gupta, a leading fisheries scientist from India whose innovative work in aquaculture technology helped spawn the Blue Revolution. The 
2017 Sonhok Peace Prize focuses on the global refugee crisis. The treacherous journey across the Mediterranean Sea, a desperate struggle for survival. Refugees who make it to foreign shores are still exposed to many risks. In despair, unable to go back or to go forward. The largest forced migration on record in the firmly closed border. The contemporary global refugee crisis signifies an historic turning point for humanity. Diaspora is one of the oldest human adaptation strategies. Hence the refugee issue must be approached and understood from the higher vantage point that it is the history of civilizations. Africa meet Chungdong Nan Mindrege, Kinguk Kuho Uyurul Pyoho Innan, Chino Strada Paksawa, Kyoyuguro Nan Min Chejong Chage, Hyksinjogin Hepabul Jishiago, Shilchone Won Sakina Yakubi Baksaral, Sonjangage, Piosumida. The Italian surgeon Dr. Gino Strada. For his devotion to ensure the medical rights of refugees and war victims in Africa and the Middle East, and the Afghan educator Dr. Sakina Yokubi, for presenting an innovative solution for refugee resettlement through education, have been selected as the 2017 laureates. Dedicated to the rights of refugees to medical care and education, they are the most worthy recipients of the Sanhok Peace Prize. These humanitarian laureates of the Sanhok Peace Prize are role models, showing how one person can peacefully improve the lives of millions. In order to achieve peace, we must overcome the barriers that divide nations, religions, races, cultures, and ethnic groups. Only by practicing love for all humanity, a love that embraces all human beings as one family, will we be able to open the way to a new global civilization of peace?